is we take every opportunity as it comes and we give them a safe space to land. Like we have to hold space for our kids and say, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, that is scary. Yeah, I can understand why you feel that way and you validate them and you assure them that it's normal to feel that way. And then you help kind of defer them on to a different, well, what, have you thought about this? Have you considered maybe thinking about this or doing this when you feel afraid and giving them those tools and empowering them to use them? But likewise, also just showing our kids that they too can make a difference in the world, that it's not just the adults who can go out and make change happen, but hey, you have a voice too. Write letters, you know, to the people that matter. Um, go and, and start a club at your school and initiate something to help people. Just putting the ball in their court and saying, you are capable and you are able. And I think, you know, so often we kind of view kids as like, oh, you're an annoyance. No, when you get older, you can do it. And I tell my kids all the time, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter because you can make a difference. And I, I think my kids really they do believe that about themselves, you know? And I think we need to raise more young people within a house that feels safe and give them the space to do that so that we enable them to then go out into their spheres of influence, into the world and create an impact, you know? But I think it always starts at home. I think it always starts at home, what we are teaching our kids, um, everything from values about how we look at the differences in others and how we love others and value other people who look different than us and believe different than us and vote different than us. Like it's important to really begin teaching that at home and not just expect the school to do that or some TV program to do that, but we as parents have the responsibility to teach those things.